Hey everybody, this is a follow-up video to the previous one in the playlist. In the previous one we were finding an unknown angle when we were given a specific uh, distance away from the screen. Uh, in this problem we want to talk about, well what if we don't know the distance from the screen? Um, this is what we call optimizing the viewing angle. And uh, you can follow this one, you can follow this example, I've uh, put a link to, the, to this example down below, but this is pretty much the same example as the work in the previous uh, video. And that is, instead of putting a number, we're just going to leave this as x. And so the work is going to be very much the same, except for that it's going to be a function and not an actual value. And so if I want th uh, theta plus phi, well, that means I'm using this triangle right here. And so that means 80 is the opposite side and x is the adjacent side. So that's going to be arc tan of 80 over, now in the previous video it was 100, but we're just going to leave it as x. And then in the small triangle, we're going to have phi, and that's going to be arc tan of 50 over x. And so the angle theta is actually a function of x. So I'm going to write it theta of x equals arctan of 80 over x minus arctan of 50 over x. And so we want to know what distance will maximize your viewing angle of the screen. Well, if you stand real close, you're not going to have a good angle. But if you stand too far away, then that won't be good either. So the idea is that, well, our graph should probably do something like that. And so if we think about it, well, how far back should we stand? Well, we can go anywhere from zero feet all the way up to, I don't know, 300 feet maybe. Now what kind of viewing angle can we expect? Well, if it takes up all of our vision, that'd be 180 degrees. Nothing ever really takes up that much. So a quarter of our vision, maybe up and down 90 degrees, eh, it seems a bit much. Let's try 50 degrees. So in y equals, when I type this in, I'm going to do arctan of 80 over x, and then I'm going to subtract arctan of 50 over x. So that's what I'm going to type in to y equals. And for my window, I'm going to set 0 to 300 and 0 to 50. So this is the range of my x values, and this is the range of my y values. So let's graph this. So it goes up, and there it goes down again. So we're interested in finding that point right there. So I will use my maximum command. So second trace, go to maximum. And my left bound, yeah, I'm feeling lazy, I don't want to scroll all the way, so I'll just say 10. And my right bound is, let's get close to it, and that's good enough. And then my guess, I'll put my cursor right on top of it, there we go. So the calculator gives me a coordinate of 63.246, comma, 13.342. Now the thing to keep in mind is, what does x and y stand for? In this case, x stands for the distance, and 13.342 is the angle. So actually that should not be, that should be in degrees. And so this is how far we should be from the screen. 63.246 feet will optimize our viewing angle. Anything too closer? We'll reduce it. Anything further will reduce it. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have suggestions or problems you want to see worked out, type a comment below. To support the channel, click the Patreon link to help keep this going. Thanks so much for watching. And remember, the best way to understand something is to do it.